Yeah, and your forecast definitely is going to change before we get to the weekend, so get ready for that. This is our Lexington Financial Center live camera. What you're not seeing is the fog that is elsewhere. We're still showing 10 miles of visibility here in Lexington, but you've got areas of dense fog south of Danville. Well, from Danville south, Campbellsville, both showing below a quarter mile. Watch out for the fog this morning. And then by later on today, considerable cloud cover still hanging around, and there is the possibility to get a shower or two to deal with. Even an isolated rumble of thunder. Pretty impressive line, solid line of severe storms through Wichita, Kansas, as you drop down through Oklahoma. They had an early morning wake up call in Oklahoma City and creeping up on Wichita Falls down in uh, North Texas there. So a pretty low end risk for severe weather today, which is good for the U.S. in general. For us, we're on the eastern edge of this developing system. And what we're looking for beyond the morning fog is Mostly cloudy skies this afternoon won't be quite as uh, sunshiny as it was yesterday. And there is that chance we could see a few showers, thunder showers out there later on today as this warm front lifts north. But between that warm front north, this high south and the strong southerly wind, we're going to warm it up. Upper 70s to even low 80s next couple of afternoons. Our next more significant round of active weather gets rolling. This front keeps trying to stall out and eventually a low spins up along it, runs up into the Great Lakes and here comes the rain. I uh, just had an email from a viewer uh, wanting to know exactly when that rain was going to start. Uh, well, Katie, right now it looks like it's going to be Friday morning, but the possibilities there for some, of course, tweaks in the timing. But we're showing mid to late morning showers, primarily over western Kentucky, but a few of them getting in here. And I think as we go through the course of the day, it's only going to build. And it's primarily going to be showers, but we'll likely have some thunder showers mixed in. And then that front tracks east, and then the chillier air takes over later in the weekend. Rainfall amounts will vary. Heaviest west, lightest east. If you look at the legend there, you're looking at a few tenths of an inch to about a half an inch, and then upwards of an inch to an inch or two as you get into southern Indiana. So this band right here is where some of the heaviest rain could be with the system coming in. It's a cool morning. We're in the 50s and 60s, but you can see the cooler air on the move. This is the 850 millibar temperature and wind setup, basically just showing a few thousand feet up what the temperature is doing. And then you just translate it down to the surface and these yellows and greens an indication of the milder air. Of course, the blue an indication of that colder air as you head up in the atmosphere. Well, eventually low pressure and a cold front are all going to drive into the Great Lakes. So this is Friday. Watch what happens Friday into Saturday. Boom, that cold air just overwhelms the Ohio Valley and we are going to feel it. Now with that blue color, it looks like we're going to drop into the 30s. That's not the case. We're going to be in the 60s for highs, 40s for lows, and it's going to feel like straight up fall later this weekend. Not today. We're looking for upper 70s for the high. 78 in Paris as you drop south and west. 78 in Harrodsburg and Danville as well. And a quick check that eight day forecast shows the temperatures dropping. And it's not just a one day drop. We'll go from 80 Friday as that rain kicks in, some thunder showers thrown in the mix, to the upper 60s Saturday, bottom out in the mid 60s, and then stay in the 60s for days with overnight lows down in the 40s, much lower humidity, and again, feeling very much like fall late in the weekend, early next week.